This is, with no doubt, one of the largest dark mm -hmm. gatherings of mm -hmm. the year. So how is it being received? Right, so this year, uh, they are very excited. A lot of uh, expectation for this year. They actually saw over 100 artists, over 400 different works. And so every year, they say they expect about 500,000 uh, spectators or guests. And so this year, they also do expect the same. So half a million people are going to be going out there to see. And so it hasn't been open for that long, only about a week now. And so mm -hmm. they're still expecting quite a few people. Okay. Now let's bring our uh, focus back to Seoul. You mm -hmm. said mm -hmm. there was another exhibition special exhibition right. that you wanted to introduce us to. Right, so the Gwangju Biennale has been casting a shadow amongst the others, but there is another exhibition here, um, and so it's taking place at the Lium Samsung Museum of Art, and they're also celebrating their 10th year um, anniversary, so another special event. So they've put together a collection of artwork, and I think you'll see that they really show with this artwork how art can put a bridge over anything, so take a look. Historical treasures from the Chosun Kingdom. They serve as both artifacts as well as works of art. Traditional Korean artwork includes anything from paintings to the art of the beautiful moon jar. This one, flawlessly created in the 18th century, displaying a perfectly rounded, almost seamless creation. And here, one artist has recreated the Korean peninsula and the millions of lives that together make up the country they call home. Another artist captures somber feelings of depression and tragedy on the canvas while other world-renowned artists show illusion and a sense of the contemporary through their use of various different mediums in this unique collection of both international and Korean artists. What would have otherwise seemed like impossible communication through these artworks, international communication has been opened. But here, art isn't just for the eyes. One artist incorporates the audience in a performance-type creation while other artists create an experience for the audience to walk through. From Korean to foreign artists, from the contemporary to the classic to the traditional, art is a bridge through both time and space. Hmm. So usually an exhibition has a main theme, but this one right, seems right. to uh, stretch beyond mm -hmm. any borders. It really does want to. Like the name implies, you know, uh, beyond and between, they really want to be all-inclusive. And its collection actually um, is a very special one because it's actually created by the chairman of Samsung, uh, Lee Gun And he actually put together his artwork over here. He has a love for art, and so he's actually sharing this collection with people. And so this museum, EU Museum, is very special. I don't know if you've been there, but it really um, has a, it just really wants to bring in all different types of artwork from mm -hmm. both here and abroad um, together and so it really does have a good explanation a really good showing of different types of art. Mm -hmm. Right and you were also telling me that the exhibition also offers uh, lectures to the exactly, visitors. Exactly, exactly. So it's not just to look at, they also want to teach about the different types of art that they have there and so they're offering different talks and lectures from various either artists or curators both from Korea and around the world and so you really do get to get a unique opportunity to go both look at the art and also learn about what's behind the art, the story behind it, you know what's going on, and so a very good place to go check out our, you know, good day, day to good way to spend your day. Mm -hmm. And the schedule for those lectures can be find, found on online. Yes, it does okay. go through November, and so it's they are almost like a seminar. Lectures. Almost like a seminar, yeah. But don't think of it like class. You know, didn't like class. But this is a very good time to go learn about different art. All right. Thank you very much, Jeannie, for your today's Always story. Always a pleasure.